Hey everybody, uh, I'm gonna do a sort of brief answer here to Jeff Reckerman 1958's thread about um, showing your favorite ECM records. And a uh, really cool thread, and he sent it to me for obvious reasons because of uh, my username. You know, I really love, I've always said how much I love this label, so I thought I would um, do it, of course. So. Um, and the background music is not really jazz at all, but whatever. <laughs> it's Lauren, uh, Lauren Nero, if you want to know. But uh, the first one I'm going to show here is going to be a CD, only because it was the first ECM um, release I ever bought. And it's one of my favorites. And it's essential for anyone that, that's uh, wanting to get into the label. So this is uh, Pat Metheny's Selected Recordings. Which is um, their series called Rarum. It's Rarum number uh, is that nine, I think, or not um, eleven or something. I don't know. I'm having a blank about these Roman numerals. But uh, yeah, it's uh, you see them as a series where they have the artists select their favorite tracks. Uh, they've done them for like a lot of people on the label, and Pamethine is one of them. It isn't you can feature that many tracks, but the disc is like 71 minutes long, which is really long, but um, he chose some really great tracks, I think. Um, it's more kind of atmospheric and dreamy kind of jazz, uh, jazz tracks that he's, he's recorded, including probably the best, I think his best composition is probably Phase Dance, and that's on here, as well as another song called Every Day I Thank You, so. You know, if you don't know ECM, you should definitely check out Pat Metheny, because he's really, uh, his, his, he really defines the ECM sound, and uh, his post-ECM records are kind of, kind of border on the more kind of smooth territory with some world, uh, with some world music influences, sometimes bordering on the kind of corny side, but uh, some of it's still good, but nothing will ever be his ECM years, so. Secondly, show this re great record here. This is Keith Jarrett's My Song, featuring John, uh, Jan Garbrek, Tali Danielson, and John Christensen. All three can you see him, uh, musicians, all fantastic. Um, you know, ECM is very ambient, very nice production and everything, and this one is just defines that sound to me. Very beautiful, melodic songs. Next is Everhard Weber's Yellow Fields. Same thing. Um, this kind of has a touch of kind of the prog, I think, too. Four, four really long tracks. Everhard Weber, of course, the bass player with John Christensen on drums again. And uh, love the covers too of the same records. So another one of my favorite guitar players, it's Bill Connors of Mist and Melting. It's a great, this is a great uh, acoustic jazz album, acoustic guitar jazz album with a great finger picking, beautiful uh, melodies and, and the like with uh, Jack DeJohn on drums this time and Young Guy Brack again, so it's very fantastic. Lastly, this is Benny Monkin's Jewel and Lotus. Ambient jazz at its finest. Um, of course, Benny Monkin just played with Miles Davis in, in the light. And, uh, this is the only ECM record to uh, feature Herbie Hancock as well, um, who he played with. Now, did Benny Monkin play with Miles Davis? Or was I know he played with Herbie Hancock, I forget the Miles Davis so, but um, yeah, this is really great. And uh, another one of my favorite DC records I actually don't have, I guess it's more of a, a rare release, but it's uh, the Young Garbara Group's Photo With album. Um, I really want to get that one, and it's a really beautiful album too, so. But uh, briefly, there's my ACM selections, I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, great thread again. Thanks, Jeff.